Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you a sneak peek to the year 2022. So I have cards list, laid out on the table from January to December. I'm going to use my mini deck and quickly zip through all the months. Just remember these are really like quick, fast, um, and uh, they're all general. So just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Super speedy, quick reads for the months of... 2022 so what's coming towards leo's in january and i'm trying to do it really fast just to kind of have a speedy quick another video um so we'll see what comes out uh death card so in january something's coming to an end oh and the ten of swords so let me pull one more card what's coming to an end for leo's in january the emperor <laughs> so maybe um what's coming to an end is uh you're something with you in a in a, an Aries, or it could be um something with like a a boss like figure, or I feel like Aries kind of tend to need to have control over situation. So I feel like you're gonna end to feel like you need to control a situation that's coming to an end. You're gonna realize that you don't have control over something. All right, February. What do we have for February for Leos? The Six of Cups. Oh, with those star cards. So I feel like you're going to have a soul connection with someone. Could be an Aquarius or your wish fulfillment. Somebody that you hope for. Could be someone from your past with the Six of Cups. Um, that's what I get. Like a reunion with someone from your past. Wish fulfillment in February. In March. The Justice card. So the justice card is like balancing things out or potential divorce, but a burden's going to be dropped. Um, definitely a burden's going to be dropped. Uh, and the three of cups also fell out, so I'm going to lay that on there. So it could be ending like a, a third party situation or um, I think it might be ending a marriage for you or your person, Leo. Okay, so April, I, uh, April for Leo. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Two of Cups and the High Priestess. So definitely the soulmate connection, um, true love, union, potential talk about marriage or thoughts about marriage because the High Priestess really doesn't speak. You're kind of using your intuition about the situation, but very much know that it's a soulmate connection. In May, ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're going to have something shifting in your favor, good karma, and you're going to have the Ten of Cups, which is a, a marriage, soulmate, family, stable connection, kids, house, home, lo love, 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 happily ever after. In June, in June, it looks like there's a choice that's going to have to be made potentially in love, and you're going to move on to calmer waters. So whatever that choice might be, I don't know, page of pentacles for May, I mean for July, and the seven of pentacles. So I feel like um, you're going to have all this love, you're going to be with this person, then there's going to be a choice to make in terms of love. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be between two different people, it could be between work and um, a person or, you know... A thought process and another thought process like it doesn't necessarily have to be between two people but you're going to move on to calmer waters and then in July things are going to kind of just go slow the page of pentacles is there like you'll have some good news but it'll kind of trickle in and then the seven of pentacles is kind of um, building something or, or planting seeds to watch something come to fruition so it's going to be a slower process I feel like the first part of the year is going to kind of fly and then July is going to hit and it's going to go slower. In August, um, there's the chariot. So that represents a choice again, right? With the empress, which is the divine feminine. So you're going to have a choice to make in regards to your divine counterpart or rapid forward movement. Um, September is the king of pentacles and the three of wands. So um, I feel like you will have... You'll be looking forward to uh, a very stable, committed, long-term relationship. In October, a higher front uh, and the Nine of Wands. So that's like a higher level commitment of a marriage. Um, the Nine of Wands is the need to kind of that you feel wounded. So um, a marriage situation might make you feel like you need to kind of guard yourself a little bit. But um, I think this is... 
it's decent. It's a it's a good soulmate connection. I don't think it's going to be somebody that you're going to get hurt from. Um, November is the King of Wands with the strength. So lots of passion, lots of flurry, sexy, passionate, fiery energy here. Um, could potentially be with you, Leo, and another fire sign, or um, that could be you. And then uh, the strength card is there. So maybe you'll be very passionate about something and it will require some strength. And then uh, the Four of Pentacles for December and the Ace of Cups. So um, whatever it is, is going to make you feel like, again, you have to kind of keep yourself closed off. But there's love there. The Ace of Cups, an abundance of love. Could be new love, but I don't think so. But it could be. All right, Leo, so that ends your read. I hope you guys enjoyed your quick sneak peek. Um, take care, guys. And until next time, um, enjoy this reading, I guess. Take care. I mean, take care.